Morning of February 6th, an earthquake with a magnitude of 7.8 struck southern Turkey as well as northern Syria. The scenes from the disaster rolled in. Cities had been leveled, many were still trapped under rubble. For some here in the United States, such a disaster seemed a world away. However, some here in the Goshen community are more intimately connected and in seeking to bring aid to those in need. Uh, I'm Suda. Um, I'm from Istanbul, Turkey, so the west side of Turkey. In Turkey, small earthquakes are common, but this one was like any other. So normally we have a lot of earthquakes because we're in that zone. Uh, so we're kind of like used to it. I'm used to hearing, oh, there has been an earthquake, 3.5, 4.1. But this one, I'm seeing like, where did it happen? Going on Twitter. But I see like 10 cities, 15 cities. I felt here, I felt here. Are you okay? It was so big. It was the biggest earthquake I've seen in my life. Luckily for her, most of her immediate family was safe, but not everyone she knew made it through. Um, I lost like three of my relatives. Um, I wasn't close with them because they're, it's really crowded. I didn't get to know them that much. One of them was um, 25 years old. Uh, he was going to be a teacher. I saw someone say like, oh, everyone asks if our family is okay, but it's just we're not okay, even if it's not our family. It's Suda at first was shocked and unsure how to respond to this, but soon she decided to take action for good. Okay, it's a bit like when you see something big like this, your life and what you do in the college and everything becomes a bit irrelevant. Um, if they want to donate, uh, we have ahbap.org, which is like ahbap.org. Um, they can trust it. Uh, they raised more than a billion liras now. They're the most preferred one. And it's just for the kids who lost their parents, um, for the parents who lost their kids, houses, families, like. As well as financial support, she says that simple interactions with people you may know is always beneficial. Yeah, I think it's good to ask people like how they're doing if you have a Turkish friend or someone. Another local group that is trying to make change from far away is Mennonite Central Community, whose Great Lakes office is located in Goshen. Eric Kurtz, the executive director at MCC Great Lakes, works on relief work around the world. For the, over the last uh, more than 10 years, we have been responding to the uh, conflict uh, in Syria, uh, in places like Aleppo. For MCC, it's all about partnering with local organizations already on the ground. So our, our partners uh, there in, in those areas are responding by trying to provide basic needs, uh, shelter, food, water, uh, health care. Part of MCC's work is with material aid. People who uh, donate and volunteer their time to put together kits and comforters um, and other material aid um, that gets you know, sent around the world to places like Syria. But like Suda, for MCC and Kurtz, it's mostly about financial support. You know, specifically for the earthquake, um, the financial donations are really key and what's needed right now in terms of an urgent response. You can find reliable resources and places to donate down below in the description. From everyone here at Glow Media, our hearts go out to those in need. This is Seth Smith Kaufman reporting for Globe Media.